are back with Dan in his 2015 Corvette. Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. Well, today's an exciting day with this Corvette, eight-speed automatic. We're gonna be, uh, of course, doing the transmission fluid change today. That's dropping the pan, changing the filter, and putting in the AMSOIL 100% synthetic fuel-efficient ATF. So uh, before we do that, we just wanna kinda show what Dan's car is looking like. It's at only 48,000 miles, super, super low mileage. Drives like a brand new car. Now, Dan, what do you like most about your car? Ah, uh, it's a Corvette. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a sport car and uh, I guess a lot of pep to it. And uh, it's red and I enjoy driving a red car. Not every day, at least once a week. I like it, I like it. And Dan was in the uh, Corvette club for years, were you? You had a bunch of them? Yes. What other ones did you have? Oh, I had a 66. I had a C6 I'm talking about. Yep. C6 and uh, had a C4. I just let it shift slow. I was just seeing the way it shifted there. Yeah. Well, you can shift it manually. Oh, no, no, just let it in automatic mode. I just wanted to get the way it shifts. You don't have to go quick, Dan. I just want to show them what it looks like. So there is a little bit of a there is a little bit of a hiccup when it shifts. It's not much, but it does give you a little bit of a um, like a loss of power. Would you say, Jen? Yes. But it's not bad. It's not like you're missing gears. No, 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 no. But it's not perfect. Well, it always could be improved. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I don't have a uh, uh, General Motors transmission port in it, and I'm looking forward to putting a new AMSOIL in there and uh, see what happens when, once we got that in there. We have the engine oil in there, and we'll be changing that too. Plus the coolant fluid, which I highly believe needs to be changed, seeing that the car is in 2015, I think it needs to be changed at least every four years, and looking forward to that too. That's awesome. What was the difference when you tried the fuel additive and the engine flush, when you did the AMS oil, motor oil? What did it feel different? Well, I don't know how to... Uh, answer all that, but uh, on the highway, I know I get over 30 miles a gallon. I did go to Laughlin, and I did a record 43 miles a gallon. Of course, that was a straight line uh, about 100 miles one way, but I was trying to do an economy run, and 43 was what I got. Uh, I have found that... Uh, I never got that with my Corvette. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. <laughs> well, I only got a size 12, not a size 14. There's a difference there, you know? Ah. Yeah. Plus the oil had something to do with that. So there we go. So there's Dan's experience. And uh, we may even be doing his SL Mercedes on the channel. Who knows? It could be come, come, coming up next. Well, let's kick off this transmission fluid change. So you said you noticed what, Dan? Uh, sometimes when I put it in gear, it doesn't quite go in real quick. All right. There's a little bit of a, a thump to it when it goes in. Huh. So uh, I hope this corrects it. And when I back up, it always does a thump thump. But I think that's more tires than transmission. But we'll soon find out. Maybe it's the transmission. I don't know. I think the back up with the wheel Yeah, I think it's just some poor thick fluid that's oxidized. Yep, make a left right here, and we will get to it. That's the before. All right, so we're here with our good man, Ronnie. And uh, if you didn't meet Ronnie, he's on our one of our last two videos. You'll see him where we uh, introduce the shop here, All Imports Auto. And the guy in the thumbnail is Dan, our man Dan. He's a racer from California. And Dan was an expert landscaper, and uh, he was like a superstar. But today, he just sits back, relax, he pushes buttons, he don't work no more, which is a good thing. So now we're getting ready to drop the nuts here, which is the old ATF fluid. And uh, Ronnie thinks it's a 10 milli, thinks, right? 
All right. So we got this little teeny weeny sucker right there and that's our rear mounted transmission. And the reason why that's there is specifically for the 50-50 weight distribution. So this car has half the weight on the rear axle, half the weight on the front. So now we're gonna go ahead and drop her down. He's gonna bring it up a little so we don't get any splashing. And we'll see what we got. Give you a little light so we can see the true colors. When you put enough light on something, Dan, you can see the true colors. Uh, he got lots of bolts to take out before it comes down. Oh yeah, we're gonna drop our nuts here. And... I think that's the engine filter right here, huh? It's coming, it's coming, there she blows. So we got some real rough looking fluid. It's definitely oxidized. So uh, we can definitely look forward to quite a difference in the shifting. Beautiful. So we're going to let her drain down. Because we're turning left all the time. Yeah. So to get, in order for it to uh, get good handling, we either had to add more weight here or add more weight up there to make the car turn around the corner. The other way we made it turn is we put a bigger wheel here yeah. and a smaller wheel over here. You know, it's like a coffee cup. It'll turn right around, you know what I mean? A styrofoam. Yeah. And that's how we used to, you know, make a car go left. <laughs> yeah, because when you go in the turn, with a bigger wheel here, let go of the wheel, it almost turns left by itself. Because now you're changing the camber and the caster too, you know, so that's why it turns left. But when you're going down the straight or you kind of hold it to the right, you kind of let go and it's going to go to the left. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like natural yeah. So we got Ronnie here. He's gonna put a little pressure. We're gonna push the trans up a teeny weeny bit, which you'll see it actually moving right there. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and show him, Ronnie. I think we're gonna probably just try loosening these mounts here. Yep, those two right there. And that should give us a little play. And that'll let us get more than just a finger in there to go ahead and nail out those bolts. So you'll see where we're at on this right here, and here, and here, and here. So we got all that room, and now Ronnie will be able to get up in there and go ahead and nail out those bolts right there. All right, so Ronnie's got his 10 mil, and boom, out like butter. Got our little uh, universals. She's come, come, coming off. All right, we're starting to yank off our bracket that's holding it. Sergio's gonna hold the pan. We're gonna drop our nuts. Oh yeah, that's a bleeder. That is a bleeder. Serge is coming in with towels. We're gonna let that blood flow. But wait until you see the pure liquid cherry that's gonna be going in. It's like a work of art. So pure, so clean, almost untouchable. Here we go. I got the pen. Yeah. What we call teamwork. Yeah. Teacher, Studa. He was my professor in college. Yes. Dropping our nuts. Ah, look at that pan. Beautiful. Is the filter look correct? Looks good. Everything looks great. Which one? The, that. This one? Let me get it. I think it's good. So now we're going to drop off our filter. This filter comes down. Usually they pressure fit on or they have a couple bolts. This one looks like it just pressure fits. We're going to drop that filter. So now we're going to see them remove it somehow. Let's see what happens. Wait for it. Blow, there she blows. There's always one more good scare of fluid that comes. And there it is. Sergio's gonna clean up this pan with parts cleaner. And you'll see those magnets have lots of metallic on it. And that's their job. 
their job is to get all that metal metallic to stick to it so it doesn't keep circulating through the fluid. And that'll actually eventually wear out the clutch packs, the plates, and wear out your shifting. So you don't want that to happen. So you always go in there, clean out those magnets when you drop your pan. Okay. So Sergio says super clean pan, looks great. Yes. Beautiful. It's wetting up our rubbers a little bit, getting her nice and wet, and she'll slip on like butter. So what is it, like a little clip that clips in right there? Yeah, there's like guides you can see right here. That's oh, it, and then pre okay. just pressure fits right in, right? Yeah. So believe it or not, over half of the actual trans filters do not have bolts. They actually just pressure fit right in. And uh, believe it or not, on a high performance Chevy, eight speed automatic, same exact thing. Just pressure fits right in. Mm -hmm. Should be good. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's Give it a little jiggle, jiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, fresh gasket, uh, clean pan is going up. So now uh, they're gonna go ahead and bolt it up the same exact way it came down. Same thing. Yeah, when you're, when you're tightening these transmission bolts, there's little tens. Uh -huh. When you're taking them off, they're not tight at all. When you, like um, they're not, they're never that torqued. Uh -huh. So when you're putting them on, it's all hand tight. Those little teeny guys are super light. Yeah. So you don't have to over tighten it. If you go too much, you can actually bend this pan. It's a very, very thin aluminum pan. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's it. Perfect. Found the fill hole. Yep. And I think it's this plastic black yep. plug. Yep, it's that right little here. black plastic plug right there. Push and you up. just push it up. Yep. yep, like that. And then you pop it out. It's like a little teeny cork. There we go. He's got it. Yep, there it is. It falls right down. So that's the center of it, right? That's yeah. hard plastic. And then yep. around the side is a soft little rubber cup. And now Ronnie's just getting that little rubber cup out. Just a wiggle jiggle and a wiggle jiggle wiggle. And we're gonna yank her out. And then that's how we're gonna fill her up from the sweet spot right there. We're gonna get her nice and wet. And we're gonna be putting in the 100% synthetic ATF and this is what we refer to on the channel as the liquid cherry and you're gonna get a chance to see in a second why it's so beautiful it's a hundred percent synthetic and the other benefit to it is you can comfortably double the severe service of OEM intervals so if you're doing uh, aggressive track driving you can double that heat and uh, you're not gonna have the thickening and all the uh, oxidation is a lot of the other fluids. Now you'll see all the specs it meets and exceeds, and it meets and exceeds all these specifications, and it will not void your warranty. So this is what all the new 10 speeds run. This is what the eight speed runs. Um, a lot of the Honda Accords, Honda Civics, tons of economy cars all take the fuel efficient ATF. And uh, I'm really excited because we're going to be showing how this flows in cold temperatures soon. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, tap that notification bell. You're gonna wanna come back and see when we show this at negative uh, 60, 70, 80 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. That's right, we're gonna get this stuff to stop. So we're gonna make this so cold it doesn't even flow. And we're gonna find out what that point is. So you're definitely wanna gonna be around. And uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely leave a comment within the first 30 minutes and that way you can come back and watch all these different videos and have a chance to be an Eben's end of month giveaway and uh, I do my end of month giveaway every last Saturday of the month so if you want to have a chance to be randomly selected leave that comment Sergio is going to show you a little subtlety secret so what do we got here Sergio special tool for transmission uh, refill part number MBA582 all right and what that is, is it's a hollow angle, right? Yeah. And the fluid will flow through there. So now we have that already up there. You can see the end. And now all we do is go ahead and, well, feel her up until she overflows. 7.4 is the initial fill. That's when you drop a pan. And then 11.7 is the total fill. You're gonna see this liquid cherry flow. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at how gorgeous the cherry is. So pure, so clean, almost untouchable. Okay. And we're just popping our seal. 
And we got the easy packs to show how easy it can be. Say you have an application, you want to just squeeze it in like a little juicy. You got it right here if you want it. We're getting our fittings hooked up. We got our little teeny weeny rubber hose. And that sucker goes onto that little angle iron right there. And then that goes down into the pan. And then our good man Ronnie's gonna pump her up, get a little pressure. We did, we did a try modification for to make it easier. Yes. To pump the fluid. Yes. You want me to pump? Yeah. Serge is gonna pump. We'll get some action. Let's do it. Look at that liquid cherry go. Look at that. Look at it go. Whoa. <laughs> Woo. We had an explosion. Boom. And that's another money shot for you. So we've had, uh, I've gotten splooged on, God, it's gotta be six or seven times, but hey, it comes with the lubing business. You take each shot at a time. But uh, I'm sure we can all relate in other industries. <laughs> all right, we're back. So what are we up to now? Yeah, we forgot to take off this piece. All right, so it's a little teeny like rubber. And, so it has to come and it can't even go through that, right? Yeah. It's sealed. Show the backside. Just flip it. All right, so it's solid, and that won't let any dust or dirt go in there. That's all right? Up. That cork, all right? So that's a little cork. Yeah. So now we're going in like butter, and the cherry is flowing. And I mean, that is cherry. Kind of glows in the dark almost. So we're going to keep going until it overflows, and then... This is all going to pretty much go in and then it's going to overflow out of this straw, which that straw goes through the pan. It's going to start to dribble out and then, uh, well, it'll be time to motor up, go through the gears, park, reverse drive. You go through about three, four seconds per cycle and then it gets uh, to a nice warm operating temperature and then this fluid actually expands. The volume of that goes up and then that's going to start to flow out and then, uh, after it flows out and it stops dribbling once it's warm, you cap it up and that's it. Plug it up. And Boom. We'll... Plug her up. Wow, that is really wet. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. It kind of gave Ronnie a little rush there. Isn't that amazing the way that clings to your skin? Yeah. So that 100% synthetic has this tenacity, this tenaciousness to just cling to everything. So even at high RPM, cling to everything and it just doesn't fling off. So basically, it has that adhesion. So that's the difference between a mineral oil that came in it and now the high performance, 100% synthetic. We're gonna go through the gears a couple times. Yep. So Ronnie's just gonna go through the gears a little bit. Was the car shifting just a little rough when it came here? Uh, it shifts really good, surprisingly, better than I even would expect. I actually took it out then and drove it with uh, without Dan right now, and this car shifts surprisingly well. I've never seen a car shift that good with that many miles with the OEM fluid. So this car right off the bat has a great, a great service life, so I'm just curious to how much better it's going to shift. Well, when I brought it in to park it, uh -huh. you can feel the gear changes. Oh, it was a little clunky. Yeah. It is clunky. Already, so we'll, Yeah, already, though, you can't. So it'll be neat to see what it feels like. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. So right now, he's going through park, reverse drive. And we're building some heat. Get those temps up a little bit. Yeah. And now we'll take a look down here. We'll see if it's dribbling. And, uh... Nope, no, not dribbling at all. So I think we can, you can come down and add a little more. All right, so we're gonna see what comes out. Probably nothing. It's probably gonna have to be filled a little more, but let's see. All right, absolutely nothing. All right, so we're back pumping again. We added another quart. This is our sixth quart. We're going to keep going until she overflows. She's a thirsty little devil. Yeah, she's thirsty. She's going to follow one another one. Yeah, I think she's going to want more, 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 more. 
pumping in. Here we go. Court number seven going in. And there she blows. There she blows. We're gonna cap her up. And now, our trans is just starting to get some good uh, heat into it. So we're gonna go back through the gears again, and then we're gonna let her dribble out. And then once she stops dribbling, that's it. We cork her up. Part two. You don't feel that jump no more than here. Say that again, Ronnie, what? You don't feel that jump. Wow, all right, so it already feels better shifting through the gears. That's amazing. Yeah. I can hear it, it's not making that jump. Wow. It's just gliding into gear now. Yeah, wow. So we already have a difference with uh, about what, six and a half quarts in? Yeah. So that's right around half of the total fill. So a lot of people always ask, they say, can you uh, mix this fluid? Of course, you can mix it and do 10% AMS oil or you can do 100%. But the more fluid you change out, obviously it's gonna run a lot better, shift smoother, and it's not gonna have to be as warm when it shifts. Like you get a lot of people, they go, you know, I gotta warm it up so it shifts good. Well, with AMS oil, with 100% synthetic, you don't have to warm it up. It just shifts good right away. Dropping our bolt here. We're gonna see if any comes out. Oh yeah, it wants to come out. I already see it. Yep. Let it out. You let it out and let it level, right? Yeah. Yep, there you go. Not much will come out at all. And you just let it go until it slows down to just a dribble and then you cork it. So that's very little coming out. It's yeah. just such a minimal amount. See how thin that stream is, Dan? That's how you know it's full. That's it, done. Beautiful, thanks Ronnie, good man. You ready to shred, Dan? You ready to feel it? Yeah, I'm All right. excited. All right. I'm excited. Now before we go racing, I want you to check out this video up here in the corner. That's on the transmission engine flush we did on Dan's car. Dan's got some WUD's own wisdom for you. So what does uh, Pinto stand for? Put in new transmission often. Ah, that's step number one. And what's number two? Dodge. Dodge. Them dudes go everywhere. driving impressions after the fluid change. We'll see what he thinks. Well, you know, I got to say it is even. At my age, so, sometimes the differences aren't that great. Tell me more, Dan. When, when, you, when you get above 80 years old, uh -huh. 2,000 RPM is about the best you hit. Hey, but at least as you're hitting something, some sort of target, yeah. that means you know you're moving forward. Exactly, exactly. So how's it shift when you go through the gears? I give don't it, know yet. I'm gonna try give it. it. Give it a try. Right I'll here. try going through park reverse drive. Yeah, you don't feel the jump. Wow. You don't feel the jump. Feel very smooth. Wow! So it is a difference just going through that motion. Yeah, just going through. You don't have that clunk. Wow! All right. Yeah, you don't have that clunk. Uh, let's see how it goes on the on yeah. the shifting. Yeah. So yeah, we uh, we changed about six and a half quarts is what was changed. So pretty close to seven point four. It just depends, once it heats up a little bit, the fluid overflows. 
can't drain it all anyway. Yep, so. exactly. video and Dan we've had the amps oil in it for about what two years three years yeah. yeah and silky smooth so we'll see you back next time on synthetic oil protection cheers to protection protection protection